filming this from a guitar center, Satchel? Um, I'm just curious because it seems like you're at the guitar section of the I guitar am. center right now. I work that... at the guitar center now, ever since COVID hit. <laughs> ever since COVID <laughs> hit. Yeah, wow. I changed you all the all strings. Your... Check this out, by the way. There's okay. an awesome, awesome fan. This guy named John, who lives in the United States, made me this guitar. And uh, how awesome is that? It's the shocker. You guys know what the shocker, shocker. is, right? Yeah, two, two, in the in, pink? two in the pink, one in, one one in the stink. stink. And it actually, it's, it is, you mentioned scratch and sniff. This thing, <laughs> oh. this thing is scratch and sniff. It's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. And it stays in tune great. And um, I mean, it doesn't even I mean, have to stay in tune. When you, when you got a guitar, by the way, look at my, uh, these are my jammies. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon jammies. Wow. And I'm not wearing so you, underwear right now. So you sleep at the Guitar Center as well, obviously. You just live there. That's <laughs> basically what you do. <laughs> That's because, because I lost my house as well during this pandemic. But they invited me in. They said, you know, change the strings. You can sleep sleep in the back room where the, where the coffee maker is. It's been great. <laughs> Well, I, actually, folks, if you hear the story about Stevie Nicks right now, anybody that's working at Guitar Center, please don't drink the coffee. Because if, if he's willing to do that in Stevie Nicks' bed, look what he's willing to do to a coffee maker. I never, sure. I never run out of creamer. Let me just put it that way. Oh, boy. I, I, I set that one up for you. That was a little bit of a softball, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> so getting back to you being uh, six months old in Redwood City, and um, let's move on to a couple years later because yeah. – we are both uh, GIT alumni, and I'm not sure if you want to talk about that, Satchel. Is it something that you're, sure, you're proud of? Okay, is it, uh, okay cool. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, GIT, listen, if you're a guitar player, anybody who plays guitar and is older than um, I am knows that GIT, it was a, you know, it's still a school. And uh, it, for me, I went there when I was pretty young, and it was a great experience, uh, mainly because there's so many good musicians that go there and uh it's just awesome to be surrounded by by great players and be inspired by great players and uh it, yeah i went there i went i went there for a little while and then i taught there for a little while and uh met a lot of awesome people and you know joined bands out of that place and and uh, it's still going strong and there's a lot of lot still a lot of great uh teachers there and uh i love i had a great experience i mean I went there a couple of years before you did, um, but at the same time, I remember all the people that you ended up, you know, hanging with, playing in bands with. One of those people being Paul Gilbert, of course, because I lived on, uh, I believe I lived on Orchid, Orange, and Sycamore. I lived on all three of those streets because those, and anybody that's familiar with Hollywood knows that yeah. that's right near where the school is and you just walk to school. But I, I agree with you. It, it didn't make me a better guitar player. It made me a better practice. Uh, it, it really, it made me practice better. It made me have better practice habits. And, and I learned a lot more about life than I did about music, I feel, just being surrounded by musicians, right? Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, I, I can remember going to, the, uh, going to GIT, I think the first day, and I looked around and there was about 800 guitar players. And I thought to myself, oh, God, that's, there's a, just in this room, there's 800 guitar players, and I'm going to be competing with them for gigs and things like that. It really made me uh, focus on, on things that could make me stand out more, like being a good singer and being really creative and, and learning how to write good songs. I felt like... Uh, you know, that that was uh, really a key thing because there was a lot of shredders even back then, even oh, 35 yeah. years ago, there was a lot of guys that could play great. And um, so I felt like you had to have something more to offer. And, you know, of course, I've got a strong jawline and yeah. uh, extremely good looking compared to most 72 year olds. And <laughs> but I thought, you know, if I can write songs for me, uh, you know, that was one of the things about uh, Steel Panther and, and taking Steel Panther and making it an original band because we started as a cover band, but I, I felt like uh, you know that's that's always you know the goal as a musician. Like, how can I turn turn this into a unique thing and uh, stand out among other bands? And 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 I feel like that that's sort of what we've done as Steel Panther. There there might be other bands out there that that try to do what we do, but nobody does it 
quite the same or quite as well as, as what we do. And we've got a chemistry and we have a unique, a unique approach to our songs. So nobody does all, it better. Nobody yeah, does all, it better. Thank you. That was all. No, that was actually just a double. O, I, wasn't that a, I was just thinking of that uh, 007 theme song. Nobody, nobody does. does. Yep. Oh, that was a great nobody. harmony. What a great, um, what a great song. What a yeah. great harmony we, we have. <laughs> yeah, no, it's amazing harmony. I mean, it's, it's, have you ever tried to jam with somebody on a Zoom call? It's almost impossible. It's tragic. No, yeah. it's not. It's it's not almost impossible. It's impossible. You know, it is impossible. Word latency, not not, <laughs> not lacy. It's latency. Yeah, that could have been the uh, new bass player of Steel Panther. Latency. Hey. Hello, folks. Roxy here. Thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, hit the subscribe button or one of the videos around me to watch more. If you'd like to, please leave a comment. If you didn't like the video, maybe you'll forget how to type. Thanks. Yeah.